Can I talk? Titan? What are you doing to Chester? Baby, you're way too big for this. Come on. You guys cannot, the two of you, fit in this thing. Come on. Let's go. Titan. 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 Come on, baby boy. Come on, baby boy. Come on. Let's go. Come on. You're too big. You're too big, baby boy. I know. You want to be with your brother. And your brother's kind of looking like, yes, get was. out. <laughs> so, come on, Titan. We have to move you. Yes. Mom and, mom and Dad have to move you. Here comes Dad. Here Hi. comes Dad. Titan. Yeah. You're, 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 this thing's only for one person. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. It's only for one person. Come here. Mm. Are you okay, Chester? Mm. Come here, Titan. Terry, yes. why don't you put him with Max? Yes. No. Put your camera over there. Mm. Watch me. Put your camera on me. Ready? Yes. Mm. Come on, baby boy. Come here, baby boy. Come and sit with your brother, Max. Mm. Come here. Come and sit with your brother, Max. Come on, sit down. Titan. It's nappy time. Come here, sit down. Titan. It's nappy time. For anyone who's ever watched our videos, our... Babies are all triplets. They all came from the same litter. We felt bad that one baby was pushed out by the mom and at four weeks, so we had to bottle feed Max. Max is the one that's actually the first one on the cushion. The second one we adopted was Titan. This is Max. That's Max. Hi, Max. And then the second was a couple of weeks later Hi, Titan. when I read up on owning Bengals that they have high energy levels. So we adopted his brother. Then we decided, we talked to the breeder and found out one brother left. that there was one brother left that no one wanted or didn't want to pay the money for. So, we adopted Chester. Chester, and he is an absolute sweetheart. He remembers his brothers. He is so loving and so touching. They're amazing animals. If anyone ever has the experience to own a Bengal, I suggest do it. But, one thing I have to say is... Somebody has to be at home because they have a lot of energy and they love their humans and they need to be with their humans. If you stress them out where the human isn't there, it doesn't work well. So I am actually a stay-at-home wife. I am a stay-at-home wife who... I clean the house. I do my things in the house. But I also suffer from PTSD, and these babies, they follow me everywhere, everywhere. I can go upstairs and make the bed, all three babies follow me. I can go to the washroom, same thing, they're all in there watching me. They're constantly nudging. I don't know if it's uh, an empathy that they have. These animals are not just wild cats. And when I go to bed at night, these guys will follow me back upstairs and curl around me. Now, I know they look little now, but when they actually stretch out, they're over two feet long. And there's 
still babies. And they're still babies. They're only four and a half months old. So my boys are going to be big boys. So I just wanted to share this with everybody. That if you ever want a bangle, be, be prepared to give lots, and I mean lots of love and lots of attention. If not, do not take a bangle because these guys, they need a lot. I have them nibbling on my nose. I have them licking my hands. I have them playing with tags on my clothes. These boys don't give up. They're absolutely wonderful. And I, I, I don't even know how to explain it. They've given me such love. Such love. And it's definitely undeniable love. I mean, these guys will come up, bump me, headbutt me. They lick my fingers, they nibble my toes, they touch my face in the morning, like, hey, mom, it's time to wake up. These guys are awesome. And anyone who is privileged enough to own these guys, keep in mind, their true nature is a leopard. And leopards are hunters. So they do need to eat certain things. But... They are absolutely wonderful animals to have. And I wouldn't change it for the world. So here we have Max and Titan. And then I'm going to go over here to Chester. Here's Chester. My husband. And my husband, Terry. He's waking him up. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> These cats are wonderful. They love love. That's all they want. To me, they want love. That's all they want. Mm -hmm. They want stimulation. They want to play. They want to eat. And they want love. And that's all they want. And that's what makes these guys great cats. And they're so loving. They are loving. They are loving. You're right, Terry. They are loving. These babies, doesn't matter what happens. Look at his face. Doesn't matter what happens. Look at this baby. Even though he's part, I mean, we had one of our babies neutered recently. And I had to put a tag on the carrier to say that he was a sweetheart. And... When I got the carrier back with the baby after the operation, when he was neutered, she actually said, agreed. And she told my husband that she was afraid of Bengals because Bengals have such a bad reputation for being aggressive because they are leopards. But she was like, she couldn't believe how friendly our babies are. So... I have to say, if you want to raise a Bengal, be prepared to give them attention. Be prepared to give them love and affection. And trust me, they're going to give it to you ten times the fold. So, I'd like to say from Max. Max. Titan. Little Max. And Titan. Yeah. My baby boy. Hmm? My boy. And if anyone could hear it, their motors are going crazy right now. <laughs> Look at his little face. Now, and Chester. from Chester. Hey, baby boy. Hey, baby boy. Hey, baby boy. Oh, that my boy. Oh, my little one. Oh, my little baby boy. Yeah. And you know what? I thank you for anyone who watched our video. And I have to say, 
Yes, we're going to have more videos coming because I'm like, I love my babies. So, yeah, I want to share the love with everyone. But I would also like to say anyone who sees a Bengal, unless you're prepared to show that kind of devotion with them, don't do it. Don't do it. Give the opportunity to someone else who can love that animal because they do need a lot. They need a lot of attention. And if you're a person that goes to work every day, like most of us, go to work every day and come home and you have a Bengal at home, I can guarantee you something's been broken, something has been torn, something has been destroyed. So be careful with that. These guys, love to they love to climb. You got something in a box, they're going to open it. You got a stove knob, they're going to turn the stove on. You got a faucet, they're turning the water on. These guys are highly intelligent animals. And somebody needs to be at home with them. So, anyway, from Chester... Max and Titan. Thank you. And Terry. Husband. <laughs> Talk to you next time. We all say thank you for watching. Enjoy and Merry Christmas.